Hey guys, it's me, Spider Venomized, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're reviewing Spider Man, written by J.J. Abrams and Henry Abrams. It's been a while since we've seen this universe that I can only categorize as Earth TRN759. The Earth, the coolest Earth number in history. So let me recap about what's been going on in this new unknown universe up to issue 4. At the start of the series, Peter Parker aka Spider-Man is badly injured, barely standing if it wasn't for Mary Jane. But this new creature, known as Carnivorous, has an army of robot looking aliens that are his children. We're destroying the Greensboro Bridge, but Spider-Man managed to maintain the battle on the bridge. As they were fighting, Carnivore stabs MJ with his sharp claw, tossing her into the water below. As Spider-Man catches her and holds her in his arms. A little while later, Peter and some of his friends attend her funeral, and then the kid that we now know as Ben Parker holds Peter's hand. As we cut over to 12 years later, in that same universe, where Ben, Ben Parker, goes to school. He goes to Midtown High. That's his school. He sees bullies in the hallway, picking on a small, scrawny little kid. But then beats the bullies up, nearly injuring them. And then he gets detention for doing that. Then he meets a girl named Faye who is covered in pain because she's some sort of a street artist. She's pretty much like Bart Simpson who spray cans a bunch of places in school which is why she got detention. Then Ben comes home and then runs upstairs into an attic, into the attic and sees a ripped Spider-Man costume. Faye comes over a little while later and is dressed up in her costume, in her maid costume, calling herself the marker to spray the town with her spray cans. Then he runs outside to grab the Spider-Man costume that he was for sure about to burn. And then they go into town, and start spraying some places, and then they run into the cops, catching them. But then Ben starts spinning a web, and then he reveals to Faye that his dad was Spider-Man as they swing towards a poster board that says, Remember the Great Departed, meaning that most of the Avengers are dead, not realizing that while they were swinging, they were all over social media being recorded by people that eventually gets all over the news, which is not good in any case. Then Ben goes over to a now collapsed Oscorp building to save a bunch of people while battling some of Carnivorous's children. After the battle, he hitches a ride on a bus. Early in the morning, he goes home to see Peter, waiting for him at the door. Peter and Ben have a heart-to-heart -heart talk about not talking about Mary Jane and how Peter didn't save her. She didn't save her, even though he did, but didn't save her in time from Carnivorous pretty much stabbing her in the in the heart, killing her. But then shortly after, they're attacked by Carnivorous who knows where they live and stabs Peter with his claws, killing him. Shortly after, they arrive and they head to Stark Industries where they are met by Riri Williams, but an older version of her counterpart self from the main universe who's given up being Ironheart. Yes, I did my research. Then we see Peter still alive, so Carnivorous can use him for something. Then Ben, Faye, and Riri head downstairs in an elevator to see a much older Tony Stark as they talk about what's been going on, what happened with Mary Jane and Peter, and then they hear a loud noise outside as a car is electrocuted by Thor who's alive, just like the rest of the Avengers. Hulk, Black Widow, and Captain America standing in front of them, 
looking really strange, looking evil, and that's where the issue ends. So now that you're all cut up, let's go into issue four of the series. So we start issue four with this woman coming back alive from the dead, but we don't know who this woman is, but it seems like Carnivorous is happy that she's back alive and we don't know who she is or who he is or anything and it seems like she has powers of some kind that push carnivorous back and she's wondering who she is or what happened with her as that's going on tony and company aka tony faye riri and ben are running for the lives because the avengers are back but they're twisted and warped because I'm pretty sure Carnivorous brought them back and they look like this. They're pretty much robots or robot minions for Carnivorous who probably sent them down to try and kill the Avengers. Uh, well, not to kill the Avengers, but kill the rest of the gang that was stood so long against Carnivorous. And then Spider-Man or Ben puts on his costume and attacks Thor using his statue because they're just like right outside in in that little area where, where Ben and Fee or Faye was about to you know go to prison or get arrested until Riri showed up and then we cut back over and it looks like Peter Parker's okay he's fine and then we get a little bit of backstory about how he was alone, he worked with Stark, he lost everything, and then he saw the spider that bit Peter. And then that same day on the bridge, he was bleeding, and then he took a sample of Parker's blood, because, you know, he was Spider-Man, and then used it to try and reheal her, to try and reheal this person that we don't know. It could be his wife, it could be something. But then... She, she looks like she's turning into some sort of... It's turning into something. And then, pretty much, he knocks out. He gets knocked out. And then, the, that same woman tries to get a sample of his blood again. And then we come back over to, to the Avengers. The rest of the Avengers attacking Tony. And then we get Ironheart, boys. Ironheart's back. She's back, she comes, she puts on her suit and comes back, and then, and then from there it was easy to take down the Avengers. Ironheart battles Thor and Hulk, it's battles Spider-Man, and then Faye battles the whole, uh, Black Widow, yeah, Black Widow, and then that same car gets crushed that Thor electrocuted as they were about to leave to go somewhere, but I don't know. So then he gets a sample of Peter's blood, but then her his blood transformed that woman into a spider. That's a hideous looking spider. But then the statues are all destroyed. All of them are destroyed and then they get a text alert. The scene that the I think that's the Brooklyn Bridge that gets attacked by the by the woman spider. Or spy, not Spider Woman. There's not no Spider Woman. It's more like Woman Spider. You know, like Man Spider. But instead it's Woman Spider as his dad. And then he comes over to the bridge and sees his dad pretty much webbed up by that woman. And then Tony and Riri go to, go to work trying to fix whatever happened. And then they're attacked. And then that spider is attacked by helicopters that shoot missiles at her and as and as while well, that's going on peter wakes up and conscious and alive thinking thinking and then ben thinks to himself that he can do this he's strong enough he can do all that but there's no way i'm pretty sure he's gonna die he's as good as dead he has no experience no training no sort of fighting skills or whatever and then he pretty much is left to die and he's dead he's as good as dead so that's issue four of the series yeah i see that at the top rip chat with bozeman you're the greatest wakanda forever
But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the issue. Overall, I give, I give the series as a whole 9 out of 10. It just shows the relationship that that Peter and Ben have. You go from Ben being an older fella that has a little bit more experience and telling Peter that he's going to do good things with his with his abilities. And then we have this kid, like a little reverso over here, where Ben's like Peter, what Peter used to be. Say, why didn't you save her? Oh, you could have done more. And then Peter's Ben, you know, Uncle Ben, and was like, with great power comes great responsibility. Or just, no, not even like that. He just pretty much gave up being Spider-Man because he couldn't save MJ. He gave up. But then all that occurred and happened. So that's pretty much it. I think they're modeling the relationship based off J.J. Abrams and his son Henry. Henry Abrams. They're modeling after their relationship. Just a little bit. Not all the way, but I feel like key parts, especially him arguing with his father, Peter arguing with his father about how he couldn't save MJ and stay away from me. I feel like they might be modeling after their own relationship, but that's, that's, that's my speculation. But that's what, yeah, that's pretty much what I think about the series as a whole. If father and son are making a story about another father and son that are modeling after a relationship that they have or had an argument about in the past, depending on if if they lost their mother and then they had an argument about, or Henry lost his mother and JJ lost his wife, pretty much the same person, lost, lost someone they cared about dearly and they pretty much lost her but then they come together and they make this amazing series which i honestly love i cannot wait for the next issue to come out which is issue five i cannot wait for the next issue to come out i think there's six in the series but i have to go back and check oh wait, no, five five yeah it is gonna be a five part mini series that's been going on for pretty much a year but I don't think this was actually planned because of COVID. I don't even think he expected this to go on. He was probably going to cancel it. Or I don't know what I'm honestly saying right now. He didn't cancel it. The comic's too good. It's too good. It's too fresh out there. It's too amazing just to skip it. Especially if they're modeling their relationship after, after their own. And if things transpired the same way, then that's a perfect story. Father and son. Father and son. They did a good job. Henry's Ben and Peter's JJ, which I think is honestly awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see here, please make sure to leave a like, comment, comment down below, Spider-Man, JJ Abrams, and subscribe to the channel. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.